it's 10.30 and we're gonna head over to California Adventure. How do you feel about our day? We got a ton done in three hours. Yeah. Sort of, we got all of Tomorrowland and Well, Fantasy a lot, Land. yeah. We did a lot of Tomorrowland and a lot of Fantasyland in three hours. We did a ton of rides. I think the key to Disneyland is absolutely getting there at rope drop. If you can do the magic hours, do them. Um, because they're not as efficient. The queues are long and there's just sort of standing in line outside. There's nothing like... The rides are really long. The rides are long, yeah. The, all the rides that we rode I think Casey were really Jr. good. Casey Jr. super long. Yeah, yeah. So Casey Jr. was a super long ride. There's only one train and you just, even if it doesn't look like such a long queue, plus it doesn't tell you how long it is, um, and even if there's, it looks like only a few people, it's just one train and it can only hold like, I don't know, 20 or 30 people at a time. So, um, it's definitely different, but we had a great time. What happened? The choo-choo train has gone. The choo-choo train has gone? Yeah. Oh. Where's the choo-choo train? So anyway, we're headed into California Adventure. Jackson just asked to meet Oswald, and he's a roaming character, so she asked us not to make a line and just basically to rush him. <laughs> Hi Oswald! High, high five! Walking down the middle of California Adventure! I don't know. That was a very odd character experience, but Jackson got to high five him, so he was really excited. And company. There's Carthay Circle. We have reservations for lunch there with the frozen package for um, for priority viewing for the frozen stage show because I really want to do that. It's called Buena Vista Street. Oh look! Ah, this is so cool. It's so fun not to know where we're going and we just are right at the beginning of the park and we're not sure where to go but I think we're gonna head toward Bugs Land because we have two hours and I think that'll be a nice small thing we can do get done in two hours this is so neat I can't wait to see the trolley Jackson loves trolleys Wow, they did make it look cool. Like it's not just an overlay. Like they really, they really changed it up. That is Mission Breakout from Guardians of the Galaxy and it used to be Hollywood Tower Hotel, the Tower of Terror. And I hear it's actually a really good ride. So we are gonna try and do it on the day that we're here in the morning or if we can get a max pass. Oh, I think Jackson's gonna like this stuff. Oh, how fun. Yeah, we should just park the stroller and let him walk around the area. Francis is Ladybug Boogie. Oh, that that looks cute. You ready? I can choose and drive. You want to drive? I want and choose. And choose? Okay. Go ahead and choose the ladybug. Choose the ladybug. This one? Time to boogie. Time to boogie. Let's do it. You're gonna steer? Yeah. You're gonna do a good job? Okay. So She's gonna shut it. Okay. Now, now I want this to lay back to go. Okay, you want the lady back to go? How do you go? Just do it. 
Francis the Ladybug here. But I am no lady. I am a bug. And I admit, I love the buggy. <laughs> now, while... Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> Is that fun? Always look into the next thing. Boogie what are we going to do next? Time. See ya. Tuck and rolls, drive them buggies. Oh. oh, bumper cars. What do you think they are? They are bumpy cars. You think they're bumpy cars? <laughs> he had to do the is he tall enough thing and Justin yelled, he just wrote Space Mountain. <laughs> Are you going to drive? How are you going to do it? You think it's a flying one? We do this. Show us how you drive. <laughs> drive and bump. <laughs> Bumpy cars. <laughs> huh? You can't see them. <laughs> this is so funny. It's all going away for Marble Land in a, about a year or two, I think. It's going to be done by 2020. It's a shame because Jackson is like so excited about these little kid rides. He can actually do the pedals and the he can actually do the pedals and the steering wheel himself. So he was really excited to ride this. Ah! You got me! <laughs> There's not really much to this. <laughs> you got me again. It's easier to drive than the uh, Tomorrowland Speedway race cars. Nothing 
cuter than watching your own child dance. <laughs> are you guys ready to move your bodies? Rub. You do, oh, you want your pretzel? Daddy has it. Jackson had an absolute blast at that Disney Junior dance party and now we're just a few minutes early but we're gonna go into Carthay Circle for our lunch reservations and we are hungry this is such a beautiful restaurant it's my favorite restaurant in Disneyland that I remember and this is what we're doing the frozen package Last time we were here, before we had a child, we sat and had um, drinks and bites to eat up in this lounge, and it was just absolutely wonderful. And Justin's just checking in. I'm just gonna take a look around. It's Snow White and the Seven Dwarves premiere pictures. And some old merchandise, that's really cool. <laughs> Look at this. Jackson would want that. All right, we're just sitting down in the lounge right now. Jackson's feet were hot, so don't put your feet up there. Because it's gross. You can't do it, it's not allowed. That's okay, just don't put them on the table. You can put them on the chair. They also have a small plate menu here that's a pretty good deal. You're gonna be in trouble and you're not gonna get to watch a show at lunch. But I think we're gonna wait and eat upstairs. All kinds of specialty cocktails too. Which I can't decide if. Can't decide yet. Might save it for later. Because we need to charge it. Oh, Looking forward to our meal. We're at Carthay Circle. We got a beautiful table outside overlooking, well, you can't really see it too much, but um, beautiful outdoor table and it's a beautiful day. And this is the this is the frozen lunch package. It is four courses. It's $89 a person. Um, I don't think we really realized that when we were booking it. It's kind of an expensive lunch, but we're gonna make the best of it and everything looks really, really good. You just choose um, your second course. And um, the way that the, and the way that the priority dining, the way that the priority seating works is you get there early at 2.30 and then you get your first choice of seating anywhere you wanna sit in the theater uh, with the package. So you do have to get there like by 2.30, I think a few minutes before 2.30 probably um, to get in with that wave of people who have the dining package. So it's not exactly like we envisioned. Like usually we thought there would be like a specific area of seats so we didn't get there, have to get there super early and we'd have a seat, um, but that's not how it works. So now you know.
And if anybody's wondering, that's how it works. And they give you these really cute lanyards, and I think there's a pin on them too, a special pin. Our amuse-bouche just came, and I didn't hear what it was, but it looks like some sort of fried, like, dumpling with some lingonberry, lingonberry jelly. I'll give it a try. Yeah, try it. Yeah. Fried dumpling with some it's jelly? It's a beignet. It's a beignet. Like cool. Awesome. Our second course just arrived very promptly, which was nice. And it's a duo of soup and salad, and it's the tomato soup. And then we also got um, this delicious looking bread and some salted butter. So after our first couple bites, um, everything is just like incredibly delicious and well done. Um, the salad is excellent. Like everything is just, every single item in here is just perfect. Like the snap peas are just super crispy and the Parmesan is amazing and the dressing is good. And the soup is like just a little bite of soup, but it is like really special and everything. So I think at first we were put off by the price and we were hot and a little cranky, but it's, it's a very special meal and it's worth it. Um, and I think, yeah, I think it's, it's worth it to, we're dining out here in this beautiful terrace, having a beautiful like four course lunch in California Adventure and it's, you know, you get what you pay for, but it is really wonderful. We're right above the trolley where they're singing Suitcase in a Dream. Pretty nice view. Okay, so I got the Hawaiian sea bass, which looks really, really good. That's your food, honey. Katie got the petite filet with avocados because we're in California. Yeah, it's like a like a Pacific kind of avoca or avocado and pineapple quinoa thing. It sounded good. And Jackson got a petite filet and mashed potatoes and green beans. Is it good? Very good. I have to use the restroom, so I'm just gonna do a quick walkthrough of the restaurant because we didn't get to on the way in. It's just really cool in here. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful restaurant. They have all the wine in the middle. Cool. There's wine cellar over there, and there's the kitchen. The food was excellent. Walt and Shirley Temple, I think, and his Oscar for Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Another cool one of Walt. And his special camera. We went to the Disney Family Museum in San Francisco, and it was totally amazing there and we learned a lot about Walt himself and his cutting edge um, techniques for filmmaking and animation and this is um, Alice this is the first Alice where they made the Alice cartoons and she was like the real girl in with the cartoons <laughs> it's a cool little room too. And here's where we are. Oh, and we got our desserts. Wow, that's a cool dessert. Look at this. Hola. Well, that was a magnificent lunch. And even the dessert was just excellent. It was like um like profiterole, I think they call that, with the um, cream in the middle. <laughs> Oops. 
And we're all in great spirits. That was a truly fantastic lunch at Carthay Circle. I, we were a little skeptical to be honest at first because of the price, but it was worth every penny. And the caliber of, and kindness and professionalism of the cast members within Carthay Circle is like just like above and beyond like any of the other cast members that we've encountered here. I hope nobody is super offended by that, but I we've had like some less than stellar interactions with cast members here so far. Like honestly, that's especially when we really need help. That's our experience, and especially when we really need help. Um, and just the people inside Carthay Circle working there, our waiter, our, our server, and just everyone, the door person, the, the man that I met in the hallway, like everybody was just super professional, super nice, like just above and beyond. So stellar, stellar experience there at Carthay Circle. Quick update, there's clearly something going on with the fast pass line for Soren because it's all the way out here and everybody's just milling around so clearly the ride's down. We also um, we also got a max pass for 210 for um, Radiator Springs Racers and we weren't going to be able to make it we didn't think but if we're there like scanning in at 210 I think we'll be able to make it on the ride and then go um, get our seats for Frozen. So we're just gonna try and do that. We're gonna go straight to Carsland and then get right on Radiator Springs like the second our max pass is up. I wonder what the heck's going on. I, the ride must be down. There's Pluto. Or is it just something was broken on the app? Grizzly Peak. Yeah, that could be true too. Justin thinks maybe like the app was broken and gave out too many fast passes at that time or something. We, we thought it was kind of weird that we got a fast pass for it on such short notice. Yeah, yeah, it was strange. Justin at dinner or at lunch when I went to the bathroom, he said, "Oh, I just got another fast pass for Sworn, so maybe something happened and they opened up too many spots." <laughs> this is so cool. There's this water ride. We never went on that. We're not big water ride. People. Maybe under cer certain circumstances we do water rides, but um, not if we're gonna be. We don't like to walk through the park wet. Oh, and there is the entrance to the Grand Californian Hotel, which we stayed at last time, and it was very convenient to get in here. Obviously, nice back entrance. The Zootopia characters are here. There's something. So cute. What is that? Oh my goodness. Hey, where are we, Jackson? You want me to tell you? We're in Radiator Springs. Who lives in Radiator Springs? What? Tomater. <gasps> Are you excited? <laughs> This is amazing! Look at this! What is it? The cozy cone! Oh my goodness! Oh my gosh, look at this place! You're gonna go 
see the tires? You wanna go see Guido? <laughs> he said he wants to go see Guido. Come on. Here, stand next to Luigi. Stand next to Luigi. Oh my goodness gracious. You want to see Guido? Look at all these tires. Is this Luigi's tire store? <laughs> Is that Guido's? Come on this way, honey. You see some more tires? <gasps> Whose tires are... Who had? He said Lightning McQueen had those. He doesn't even know this is a ride. He just likes the queue. Yeah, we're not actually riding this. He just wants to look around at everything. He's totally overwhelmed. And I'm getting very emotional. <laughs> it's making me so emotional seeing how much he loves this. <laughs> we are in Radiator Springs. There's so much to look at. There's Stanley. This is the fast bus. Here he is. Good old Stanley. Where's the talking one? I think you mean Lizzie, his uh, his wife car, huh? This place is literally so amazing. They did such a good job with this whole area and this ride just looks immense. Like it, this facade looks so huge. And even these, even the flowers are little tail lights. Just so cool. Every single thing in here is themed so well. We've watched these movies so often lately. And to see Jackson, so excited to see all this is just like the best.